Here she comes. Here she comes. Our gold medalist, Laverne Donalyn Spencer, 2018 gold medalist, Commonwealth Games, Gold Coast Australia, awaiting her at the entrance are her teammates of 2018. The drummers and Mocha Flix Entertainment. a little walk of honor. <laughs> Just to remind, she's our Medal of Honor Gold recipient for her contribution to sports. She's a Diamond League athlete, a three-time Olympian who carried our national flag, Sportswoman of the Year 13 times. In 2016, when she was honored by her Babano community, she said, more flowers to come, more dreams to be realized, more goals to achieve. And today she is indeed receiving her flowers. She has realized one dream, and she has another goal of 2020. Olympic Games in Japan. She has been described as a wise, steadfast, faithful young lady 
is a long-lasting legacy of excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, seated under the tent, we would kindly ask you to stand and stand behind the seat so that Laverne's family and the dignitaries with her can be seated so that we can proceed with our ceremony. Thank you so much for your cooperation. We'd like to acknowledge the presence of our Acting Prime Minister, Honorable Stevenson King, Cabinet Ministers, Parliamentarians, SLOC President and Members, our esteemed guest of honor, Ms. Laverne Donald and Spencer, and her family, the people of Babano, her fans, Ministry of Sports, the Department of Youth Development and Sports, all federations represented here and associations, sports personalities, students, parents, ladies and gentlemen, our faithful media, one and all, it is a pleasure to welcome all of you here, as well as all of those who have entertained before her arrival. Thank you very much for being here. And soon from now, we will proceed with a few speeches. Thank you, wonderful. By her manager, Mr. Gregory Dixon, Mr. Trevor Hunt, who was the chef de mission for the Gold Coast Australia 2018 Commonwealth Games. We acknowledge all our Commonwealth Games athletes and I would like those Commonwealth Games athletes to come forward in front of the stage and take a bow. Come be proud. All of them, those who are past, Mr. Arthur Scott that I recognize in the audience, Chris Wells. Please do come forward. Let our solution see you and know who you are. We have Jenna and Stephen Charles for this year, Maverick Pamphil for this year, Jonathan Celestine, Albert Reynolds, who's also our Scotsman of the Year. We have the Chef de Mission, Mr. Trevor Hunt present. Mr. Titus the Frost Elliam, who was the coach for the athletic squad, which I just called. Janelle Schaefer is out back in the US. Michael Charles as well. Nick Joseph is not there as yet. For boxing, boxing was led by Conrad Fredericks. With Nathan Ferrari, our junior boxer of the year. Lindell Marcelet, our senior boxer of the year. And the absent is Marvin Anthony. Folks, when the name called, give them a round of applause, please. Yo. And what, the, it, this is not a funeral procession, it's a celebration. Okay, so yeah, get, get, don't let me come in front of the stage now. Okay? Don't act like Nathan Ferrari. A tap, tap, tap. No, make some noise and clap. This is our first gold medal. What's wrong with y'all? Go ahead, darling. Go ahead. Swimming. The coach was Mr. David Peterkin. He's somewhere around. And the athletes were Katie Kyle and Jean-Luc Zephyr, who is not here. They are on assignment overseas. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause. And of course, they share in the glory of Miss Laverne Donnelly Spencer. Thank you, gentlemen. We can all take our seats now.
And we now invite the stage for chat remarks by Mr. Gregory Dixon, who is Miss Spencer's local manager. Mr. Dixon. So we shall move on to the chef de mission, Mr. Trevor Hunt. Okay, before Mr. Hunt begins, we'd like everyone to take their seats, please. I wonder if they're watching it again. Watching of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, introducing for his brief remarks, please put your hands together for the chef de mission, Mr. Trevor Hunt. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and children. I stand here very proud to be a St. Lucian today. This was my first chef de mission for St. Lucia. Uh, I have been part of uh, Commonwealth Games. I was uh, official in Delhi for the tennis uh, team that participated. But I must say today, I am very proud of Laverne Spencer. She has made us an icon in today's world. It brought tears to my eyes when I saw my flag being brought up the pole and to hear the St. Lucian anthem. And that is all because of Laverne Spencer. And I think we should, we should appreciate all what she has done for St. Lucia and to give us a name today. We are known now. We are no longer a little island. And it just shows me that the opportunities are here. The youth is very important, should take an example from Laverne because... Opportunities in sports can take you very, very far. And Laverne is a clear example of this. And once you committed and you can put your heart to what you do and you have the strength like what Laverne has, I think anybody can accomplish what they want. So once again, I would just like to thank Laverne for making us proud today. And St. Lucia, we are on the map and there are many more to come. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Hunt, and we will be sending you to every single games we have overseas. Clearly, you're the good luck charm. Well, fine. We now call on Mr. Gregory Dixon, Laverne's manager. Thank you very much, Mr. Of Master Ceremonies. Good afternoon to all. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all. Okay, that sounds a little better. What a day it is for St. Lucia, a day of celebration. A day when, as has been indicated by maybe those before me, just got here, you know, St. Lucia can celebrate because finally, at the Commonwealth level, uh, Laverne Spencer was able to put us on that sporting map. Of course, it has been a long, long journey, 20 years. In fact, ironically, it was around this time, 20 years ago, that Mr. Gregory Lubin, then a physical education teacher at the Entrebo Secondary School, actually looked at a slim-looking Laverne who had just entered school as a sprinter and thought it was necessary for her to take on the high jump. She accepted his invitation 
and the rest is history. So, of course, Mr. Gregory Lubin has to be commended for identifying that talent 20 years ago, nurturing it, and getting Laverne to where she is right now. Within a year later, Laverne had broken the national record. At age 14, she jumped 1.69, breaking the old record, which was 1.67, and she was 14 years old, becoming a national record holder. So, of course, you would know for a 14-year-old, you know, she wouldn't know how to deal with that newfound fame, and that is when I, my work really started at age 14, trying to nurture her and tell her to continue that sport. And as I said earlier, the journey has been a long one. Lots of str struggles, lots, lots of hurdles, but Levin stayed the course. She worked harder with support along the way. With support along the way, she was able to continue that great work to get us up to that point. Of course, prior to that, Levin has done several great things for St. Lucia. Levin has been a partner for the sport, becoming the first to do several things. First to become a full-time professional, first to make it to the finals of the World Championships, first to, become, uh, to make it to the finals of the Olympics, uh, first to win a, an international medal at the World Youth level in 2001. So prior to this one, Levon has done her bit for St. Lucia. But of course, as I said, this is the big one. Commonwealth champion, something that should, could never be taken away from her. And so as we continue to celebrate, we continue to thank all those who worked with her throughout that journey to get us up to that point. But today, it's a day to celebrate, and I thank St. Lucians for coming out with, to, to celebrate with us. Celebrate with us because it's not just Laverne's time, it's St. Lucia's time. So enjoy the afternoon, God bless, and continue to encourage. Thank you very much, Mr. Dixon. Okay, so we move on, and we invite the president of the St. Lucia Olympic Committee, Honorable Senator Fortuna Bellrose, to make her remarks. Good afternoon, everybody. Monsieur, y'all win a nurse how dead y'all are. Good afternoon, everybody. All right. Honorable Prime Minister, Acting Prime Minister, Honorable Stevenson King. I see Honorable um, Mary Isaac, who is the Minister for Health, here with us this afternoon. Laverne Spencer, our honored guest. We also have her family with us, her mom, her father, her brothers, her sister her church members, her manager, and of course we have the wonderful people of St. Lucia here to celebrate with Laverne this afternoon. We are so proud of Laverne, and you heard from her manager how she started 20 years ago. And as a Commonwealth Games Association of St. Lucia, we are indeed proud because from 1962, our organization has been trying to win a medal. A gold medal at that, because Laverne and Dominic Johnson did bronze medals for us in 2002, 2006, 2010, and of course 2014. But we've been striving for that gold medal for a number of years. And so Laverne was able to deliver that medal with support from the Athletics Association, because if they were not existing, she would not have been able to compete. And so we are happy that this association remained vibrant to allow her that opportunity to traverse across the globe to represent our country, St. Lucia. Yeah, that's a great achievement. And her achievement is testimony to the work that it takes to be involved in sports. It's hard work, man. And I'm telling you, a lot of people are afraid of hard work. It's hard work as an athlete because you have to commit to training and being disciplined every day. And then you rely on people who are volunteers around you. People who are just doing it because they love it. And not everybody loves it. You know, and because they don't love it, they bad talk it. You know, and they do all kinds of evil things to distract you from it. But those who love it persevered and stayed the course with her. And her family has been there with her through thick and thin all these years. And today she has realized it. Teaching all of us that if your family is with you, Nothing can stop you from your achieving your goals. So we're happy with the messages that came through Laverne. We're happy with all what we have learned. And of course, as a Commonwealth Games Association, we continue to look at the lessons of Laverne to make it better for other athletes. Not necessarily easier, because we need to set standards. And you have to attain standards as you go along to get to the top. 
The top is not reached by ease in your way. The top is reached by striving and achieving standards. Every day you do something better. And so over the years, we've had a number of persons who have come through who have served as chefs and coaches within this fraternity and who have been able to provide the support to enable the success that we have today. And so we want to con commend Laverne. It's her time. We want to congratulate her. We want every parent in St. Lucia to understand that through sports, you can achieve your goals. And from what we've seen, Laverne still has a belly of fire inside of her. And we just trust that she can continue to perform and the good Lord can grant her the strength, the courage, and the health to be number one in the world. Not just the commonwealth, but the world. And let me tell you, on the achievements that Laverne has had, Laverne has been able to become the number one athlete, number one athlete in high jump across the continent called the Americas. So from Canada down to Chile, she's number one. There is no one else to beat her. She's number one. Now, if you recall, during the time of slavery, the British Empire, there was something called the British Empire. And the British Empire was, was the countries, all the countries that the Queen and England represented. So we're talking about big countries like India and Pakistan. You understand? All the English-speaking countries across the, across the globe and the whole of Africa. Laverne is number one there. Number one. Number one. Number one. And so we have to understand the magnitude of the success that she's had. It is a tremendous amount of success. So that when we go to meetings now and we walk in the room, hey man, St. Lucia, we won the gold medal. So I carry it too, you know, and we all, it rubs off on all of us. We feel good when we go to the meetings because we have something to talk about. We can talk about the perils. We can talk about the toils of athletes because we know what it is. We've got people who've lived it. We've got people who've been in it. You understand? And you know, I'll never forget the great Vivian Richards, what he said to me some years ago. He said to me, you know, Fortuna, as cricketers, we were dirt poor. Dirt, dirt, dirt poor. We didn't have any money. But what we had was guts. What we had was the discipline. And we applied ourselves to be able to be where we are today. And I think when you look at Laverne's story, it's the same thing. And so we really want to commend Laverne and her family for the effort that they made to get there. And we are there to continue to support. And of course, our government, my government, will be there to ensure that we continue to clear the pathway of those obstacles to ensure that athletes who are serious and who want to earn a living through sport get it right. So with those few words, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to all the associations who are part of this wonderful organization that I am. Thank you to all the people who have worked and of course, thank to our executive, our executive members who have made it possible for those opportunities to come through for the athletes. So thank you so much, and thanks for turning up as wonderful citizens of this country. Thank you very much, Senator Bell Rose. And it's now my pleasure to invite to the stage our acting Prime Minister, Honorable Stevenson King, to address you. St. Lucians, people of St. Lucia, people of Babano, our young people, our golden girl, Laverne Spencer, good afternoon and congratulations. Today we have gathered here on this square, a historic location, to record one more time of history, and in this time it is sports. 
Lavon Spencer, who some 20 years ago took the decision to engage in sports, has returned on this afternoon to bring pride, joy, and dignity to the entire population of St. Lucia. And therefore, as the representative of the government acting on behalf of the Prime Minister, I want to join all of you St. Lucians in congratulating Laverne on bringing to us such pride and dignity throughout the Commonwealth here in this country. We know how hard she has worked over the years. She has demonstrated to every St. Lucian, particularly our young people, what it is to have the fire, what it is to have the energy, what it is to have the dedication, what it is to fight, what it is to keep trying, what it is to remain disciplined, what it is to remain focused, and what it is to keep her eye on the bar and to jump and jump and jump until now she has brought gold to St. Lucia. Laverne is an example to every young person in this country. And I hope, as she continues her journey in sports, that young people will look to her for guidance. They will look to her for encouragement, and they look to her for support. Let me therefore assure Laverne that the government will continue to give the necessary support where needed to ensure that you, in your career, continue to excel and continue to bring gold to St. Lucia to make St. Lucians even prouder than they are this afternoon. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate also those who have supported her over the years. Her family, who have stood strong with her, given to her the discipline, the spiritual guidance, and of course, stabilizing her as a fine young lady. To her community of Babuno, I want to thank them for having created a perfect example, a perfect environment for her development. And to you, St. Lucians, the many of you who have turned out time after time after time to give her support. And those who followed her in the media as she brought medal after medal to our country, I want to thank you for giving her that support and to encourage you to continue to give her the support as I believe that she still has a lot to offer to our country and a lot more pride and joy to bring to the people of St. Lucia. To you, Laverne, on behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia, I want to congratulate you and to wish you the very best in the not too distant future. Thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you very much, Honorable Stevenson King, Acting Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to address Ms. Spencer on behalf of her coach, Mr. Gregory Lubin. And he says, look what you have done, Laverne. Your journey now starts, Japan 2020. Who would have thought from Babono to Entrepo Secondary School, you would have shown the world such talent that we have. I have three entities I would love to talk to. One, my fellow Lucian coaches, it's our time to take advantage of this golden opportunity to produce smaller Laverne Spencers, both male and female. Two, parents, play your role by knowing where your children are during and after school. And three, Corporate St. Lucia, your increased support to produce our next generation of Lucian athletes is needed. Thanks, Dame Laverne Spencer. One love for Mr. Lubin. And now, we introduce to you the lady 
that we have all come here to celebrate. And she has requested this special song. Here we go. Well, so you're just going to stand up there to look at her. Nobody clapping, nobody making noise. Say, Lucia, really? has just achieved in Gold Coast, Australia, a Commonwealth Gold Medal. It is also very gratifying when one is recognized and praised for something he or she has achieved. But there is no feeling that can be compared to the experience of being celebrated or praise for something that you have achieved for your country. And that emotion, and that is the emotion I am experiencing at present. You see, for the better part of my almost 20 years of representing St. Lucia in the sport of track and field, the satisfaction of knowing that I can place my country on the world map through my achievements is something that has really motivated me. As I travel around the world, the question, where is St. Lucia, is one that I have had to answer many times. And that question is normally asked after I have defeated my opponents, and from, after I have defeated my opponents from so-called big countries. It is in times like these when I have relegated them to the lesser position on the podium that I set out with immense pride and joy to tell them all they need to know about Sweet St. Lucia, the Helen of the West. So, I have always seen my sport as one way of motivating, as one way of promoting my country. Fellow St. Lucians, by now, it is well known that the 20-year journey that I have been on since taking up high jump has not been smooth sailing, especially since I'm in an individual sport. I've had mountains to climb and rivers to cross. There have been so many hurdles in my path that I sometimes gave the thought of switching from the high jump to hurdling. There have been times when I felt like giving up and calling it a day. But with the help of God, the support of my management team, and the unfailing love of all you, my solution people, I have pressed towards the mark to help create occasions like today. Even when at times I have been criticized for not meeting your expectations, I have looked at it as you wanted me to be the best. And so I have used this criticism as a stepping stone in my quest to get to the top. And this has really, this has really paid off. Thank you so much for that. You see, there is no doubt in my mind that you St. Lucian people genuinely want our sportsmen and women to excel to be the best and to make our country proud. When I come home occasionally, I receive a lot of encouragement from many people I meet on the streets, some I have never met or even seen. 
And this certainly has inspired me to keep working hard. I, sometimes, I many times meet children and young people who go past me with a shy smile, not knowing whether to call or not, and others sometimes quietly argue, not knowing I can hear them, about whether or not I'm indeed Laverne Spencer. <laughs> this continues to remind me that eyes are on me as I do my best to be as, my, as I do my best to be a true role model for not just young athletes, but the nation children in general. Thank you, children and young people, for that constant reminder which has really pushed me and helped me remain a good example for you. As is always the case, when we celebrate such achievements, I have no choice but to reflect on this journey that I have been on. And despite the expected obstacles, I remain eternally grateful for the many who have held my hand and helped me along that long winding road which I am still on. To all those persons, I say thank you. The Almighty God has always been there for me as he has promised. And I have always called on him every single day in my life, every single day of my life, in good times and bad times. And he has never failed me. But I have to also thank institutions like the St. Lucian government, the St. Lucia Athletics Association and the, Olympic, and the St. Lucia Olympic Committee Inc. who have played an integral role in my sporting career. You really helped make it happen. I'm also thankful for the strong family support I have. It has, it has, given, it has been a key contributor to my development. I am not sure where I would be without them. Thanks to Mr. Gregory Lubin, my first high jump coach, who discovered me and gave me the early nurturing that I needed to set me on my way to greatness. <laughs> Other local coaches, like Mr. Bailey, Twatine, and others, must be thanked as well, because they did help. Of course, my local manager, Mr. Gregory Dixon, who has been there with me throughout my entire career. He has been my mentor, advisor, spiritual leader, and mental coach. His contribution to my life is what has made it all happen for me. I definitely cannot forget sponsors like telecommunications provider, Flo, who have who have helped in a big way for over a decade. They are truly number one. Also others like First National Bank, who contributed greatly and also helped bring out my talent. Fix, and lastly, SMJ Beverages, who are still providing today. And last but by no means least, you the people of St. Lucia, for your continued show of love and faith in me. Even when I sometimes let you down, you keep rallying around me and providing that much needed support. Thank you so much for that. And I ask that you continue pushing on, I ask that you continue pushing me on because together we still have goals to achieve and dreams to realize. But now, it's all about celebrating my St. Lucian people. Celebrating the attainment of our first ever Commonwealth gold medal. We made our flag fly proudly in the Australian breeze as we introduce our great sounding national anthem to the world. We, ha we have conquered. We are Commonwealth champions. So let's celebrate this massive achievement. Thank you so much for helping me achieve this great goal and dream of mine.
It has been a long and lonely road sometimes. But as I have always known, as I have known now, that you are with me. Last Saturday, I was presented with the Commonwealth Gold Medal, which I am proudly wearing. But this one is for you, St. Lucia. We, we did it together, so let's all celebrate. Thank you, Miss Spencer. We would like you to remain right here. At this moment, all right, the president of the St. Lucia Olympic Committee and the permanent secretary, the deputy permanent secretary in the department of youth and sports will make a presentation to Ms. Spencer. Thank you very much. The St. Lucia Olympic Committee is a voluntary organization, but when our athletes do as well as Laverne has done, what we do is try to pull our little together to recognize the effort that she's made. And it's not about payment for her service. There's nothing like payment here. It's just a gift and we are hoping that she can use this gift to buy whatever she wants. And so Laverne, on behalf of the St. Lucia Olympic Committee, we present to you a token of our appreciation for the effort that you made to bring us home this wonderful piece of metal. Go on.
Something just quick, something quick for love and Spencer, yeah. I just want to say something real quick for love. And. You see me, I'm proud. I'm proud. I go live. I'm proud of love and Spencer. You know why? Growing up as a little boy, I always used to watch spots, and I said, "Where's Saint Lucia? Where's Saint Lucia? I know we have talent. Where's Saint Lucia? Scotty, you know which one, eh?" I have to ask them where said Lucia. If you know your nationality, let me see your signal in the air so one time. Oh, no. Tell them again, said Lucia. Hey, hey, hey. You see that one? That one there is for you there. Only Australia, you have to say what? Say Lucia, where you did? 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 That's how I'm not telling you. Yeah. But say Lord watch the Viber. We here to get good same time too. We want to pay the respects to Love and Spencer for doing such a wonderful job at the Olympics. I mean, she jumped so high. They couldn't touch the sky, but she touched the sky. And just when she landed, she said, a gold medal in the deck there one time. Watch me see that one there. Straight out of St. Lucia. That is where she from, you know. Tell them this one. Tell them that is where she from. Straight out, man. Straight out, man. Straight out, man. Tell them that is where she from. Straight out, man. Straight out, man. Tell them that is where she from. Everybody. I want to see you represent. Put your hands up. Everybody. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Put up your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see. Let me see, 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 let me see. Come in, shout out, Jackson Lucia. Helen of the West, Helen of the West. Love and Spencer, I salute ya. Cause you are the best. You are the best in St. Lucia. You so special, yeah. It's now official, yeah. Let's take it global. Everybody, everybody. Where you from? Straight out of the Lucia. Where you from? Where you from? Tell us where you from. 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 Tell Let's have a party at this show. Everybody, show me the hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Show me your hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody hands. Let me see your hands. Everybody. Everybody. Hey, send Lucia to the goal. The blue, the black, the white and gold. Everybody flying, but them say I fly high. When no one coming, all we go party like it's independent day. And if you're ready now, answer me. Where you from? 
That's our country, our home. Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from?